Hello, beautiful people. Cool. Yesterday was 4th of July. It's been the night in Santa Barbara. We're going back home today. But we had to come to the beach first. The Santa Barbara beaches are so calm and open and just nice and beautiful. And Flynn loves the beach. Whoa! You want to make a big castle? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Flynn, is that a good idea? Yeah, let's scoop it. Okay. Hey, Grandpa, are you making a um, scoop? You want to go down the slide? I thought we were going to use this to make a castle. It's a big castle? Oh, yeah, with a big tunnel and all this stuff. There's some rocks and bluffs over there, and I am slowly waddling my way. I just feel like there's gotta be pregnant women who maybe watch me, who are either around the same time in their pregnancy or near, and they're like, she's so lame, because <laughs> I'm 15 weeks pregnant. I can barely do anything. I feel so lame. Most women this at this point are fine. First of all, you probably can't even see if they're pregnant. Meanwhile, me. Second of all, it like doesn't even like affect them that much. And I can barely do anything. But I'm trying to force myself to like, walk around and do stuff. And so we're going to a cave. so much fun at the beach and now I've just kind of been chilling at my parents house but we're gonna head back to LA now I'm completely out of breath because I'm always out of breath this pregnancy but guess what guys the babies are the size of avocados I feel like that's so big like I feel like the other day my app just said that they were the size of like Lego men and now they're the size of avocados it says like one app says avocados another one said a pear another one said a box of crayons so like I mean they're good like four inches I feel like that's big and I have two of them and two placentas in me like no wonder my tummy's so big. Speaking of, I was thinking it might be fun because I sometimes remember to show you guys my bump in the vlogs. And obviously I don't vlog every day and it's probably gonna get even less and less the more pregnant and more sick I get. But I thought I could keep showing you my bumps when I remember and do like a bump of the day. And then someone out there, I'm sure, will edit together all the clips of like when I've shown my bump over the whole pregnancy so that when I have the twins, I can have like videos of every time I've ever shown my bump. So if any of you out there, I mean, I'm not gonna do it because I'll forget and I'll lose all the footage. But if anyone out there wants to take it upon themselves to do that and like post it somewhere on the internet for people to see I'd love to see it if that ever happens but also no pressure you don't have to do that I'm just not gonna do it because it'll be my vlogs but anyway here's the bump of the day here we are I am 15 weeks today 15 weeks pregnant I'm officially officially in my second trimester 
and I'm a little nervous because second trimester was my worst with Flynn. So most women get into their second trimester and they're like, yay, second trimester, I'm not nauseous anymore, I'm feeling so good. You have energy, you can exercise, you can eat well, you can do stuff and you're like happy and like glowing and it's when you love pregnancy. And I'm kind of nervous because I had the opposite experience with Flynn. My second trimester was abysmal. It was so awful. That's when all my issues started. My pelvic pain and my fainting and vomiting. And I mean, it was so bad. And so I'm really nervous because <laughs> my pelvic pain is bad this week. And I know it just gets worse from here. So I'm trying to have a really positive attitude and like good outlook. And I'm like excited about these babies. and I'm excited to be pregnant, but I'm also just like nervous about the next few months because they were the hardest with fun. Anyway, here we go. We're going home and I need to sit down. This is my childhood bedroom, by the way. Wow, I can't stand up. I can't breathe, might as well tell you. This is where I grew up, born and raised in this room. When my sister was born, we had bunk beds against this wall. I was on the top bunk, which was on the bottom bunk. And on the top bunk here, the wall was full of pictures of cats. So I was obsessed with cats and um, my whole room was full of cat stuff. And it was like a very funny room because Rachel and I always shared a room, but I was very like stereotypical feminine girly things. And Rachel was very stereotypical. What society teaches us is like bro-y things. So the room was like decorated kind of more what we deem as girly, even though what does that mean? But it was like Barbies and pink and kitty cats and sparkles and Lisa Frank. But then Rachel's stuff was like GI Joes and army gear and Hot Wheels. And my mom was reminding me today that on my pink heart bunk bed, Rachel had a Hot Wheels track like taped to the top bunk. <laughs> Cause Flynn was playing with Hot Wheels today. My mom was like, I when Rachel would tape Hot Wheels to your pink bunk bed and make trucks and cars race. And I was like, yeah, she like raced them over my American Girl dolls and Barbies. <sighs> We're going home. I'll see you guys in LA. Hi, beautiful humans. We're home. We had a lot of traffic because 4th of July and I'm still hearing fireworks outside. It's like, hello, 4th of July is over. Like stop blowing up things in the air for no reason. I was reading the comments on my 4th of July vlog and overwhelmingly, the comments were about my brother, Christopher, who is a magician or, I mean, I guess he's still a magician, but he really was a magician for a very long time. He did like a little cute, like magic show for the kids on 4th of July. And there were a lot of comments like, like, whoa, I'm actually like, really impressed with his magic tricks and whoa, the, ma the magic tricks were so good. And I realized like, oh, it's been like a few years since Christopher's done like magic for the internet. Here's the truth about my brother. You wanna know the truth about my brother, Christopher? So Christopher has been a magician since he was a little kid. Like if you're a long time watcher of my channel, you will know this. My brother, my oldest brother, Christopher, is a magician, has been since he was little, and that was like his job for a while. Like, and that was actually like my first job, <clears throat> is I was his magician's assistant when I was like 12 years old at a birthday party once. He has always done magic. He's an incredibly talented magician. That's not a joke. I know like magicians are like, it's kind of like made fun of or like joked around about, but like he legit is a very good magician. And he worked for magic stores and he was a member at the Magic Castle. I think he still is. He worked for this big company that sold magic tricks. His YouTube channel actually used to be magic. When he started his channel, he would do Magic Mondays and he would do a big magic trick every single Monday. You guys can go back and watch some of those videos. I was so like surprised by my comments because I just like, I don't know why I just assumed everyone knew like my brother's a magician. <laughs> But then anyway, I'm, I'm so such a mess. I can't stay on one story. So he was a magician for a while and then he started doing YouTube and then growing his family. And then we started working together and writing together. And then we wrote a book and we did the TV show together and became like co-producers and co-writers on a bunch of projects. And now he's a still a writer, but with me whenever I'm able to write. And he makes YouTube videos with his family that are wonderful. You guys should subscribe to him. But his YouTube channel started off as a magic channel. And so it made me think like, this is so weird. A lot of people don't know that he's a magician because I just thought everyone knew he was a magician. And so I started watching old videos of him doing magic just because all the comments were like, well, he's such a good magician. I was like, he's a good magician. I'm gonna go watch some old magic tricks of his. And when I was doing that, I found some old videos that I am in that I was like, I should show these to you guys and like react to them. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Magic Monday. Today I have my sisters with me. This is Colleen. That's me. This is I used to wear that onesie and every we're do day. A quick that card Christmas trick today. I want you to memorize the card that you stopped at. Got it. You remember it as yep. well. It's important that you remember, remember it as well. It. Okay. I'm gonna put this back just like this, and I want you to shuffle the cards. Easy. Okay. I'm really good shuffler. Never yeah. ah, I've even dropped once. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna commit to this card okay. right here. Okay. This is your card. The card yeah. you both have memorized. 
On the count of three, I'd like you to say the card that you're both thinking of. Okay. One, two, three. A nine of diamonds. diamonds. Oh. Wrong. What? I got ace of hearts. I got nine of diamonds. We'll do this. We'll do it. We're just gonna. Well, don't tear it. It's okay. Don't even okay. tell us your commitment. You guys can share. You guys can share. Okay. <laughs> Side. So, they're still connected. Okay. I remember this I'm trick now. I want you to tear them apart. It's a One, good trick. Two, three. And show the camera your sides. Nine of It's impressive. So before my brother was doing those Magic Monday videos, where he, and you can still go watch those, they're still on his channel. He worked for his company that sold magic tricks, and he did the demo videos for the magic tricks. So if you were like looking at a magic trick that you wanted to buy, and you wanted to know what the magic trick did or how, how it looked, you would see a video of my brother doing the magic trick, and oftentimes he'd have me or my sister come and be the spectator, the person who like watched and was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you did that. These videos are are very old. I'm talking like 14 years old probably. Like we'll watch a couple of them, but mostly I just want to laugh at how I look. <laughs> Princess card trick. I want you to memorize one of these cards. Okay. okay? Ooh, quick. a businesswoman. Got it? Yes. Got it. I look like I'm about to go like work at a restaurant, which is fine. I did so, probably did at this time. I think I worked at Macaroni Girl back then. Right but it looks like I'm about to go start my shift as like a host at an Italian restaurant or something. Is your card missing? Yes. Your card is missing? Now I know that I was right, and you know that I was right, but what card were you thinking of? The King of Diamonds. The King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds is the one card that I put into my pocket. reaction. <laughs> my whole job was to be like, oh my god, that's so crazy. And he pulls out the card and I'm like, okay. come on, queen, help sell the magic trick. Tagged. What could it be? I have a deck of cards here. I'd like oh my you gosh, to we love a headband. Okay. I'd like you to remember that card right where you said stop. Okay, okay you got it? Okay, what is it? You show the camera. Well, considering this was filmed on a potato, I don't know what that card was. It looks like a king or a queen of something. Okay. And Let's see. I don't know if you notice, I'm wearing this dog tag chain. Typical okay. Christopher, Watch. wearing dog tag chain. I'm just going to wave the cards over just like this. And your card actually oh links my gosh. to the chain. Oh my gosh. You, can even, you can even check it out if you want. I am so yeah. bad at acting. The card is actually linked on to the oh chain. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a cool trick though. Pecan. Again, okay, what, is, what are these pecan, shirts I'm wearing? Cork and three little seeds here. I don't oh, remember this, this trick. Bean. This is a pea. A bean, a and pea, this and is a piece of corn. A piece of okay. corn. I'm gonna put all three into the can and put the cork on. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to try and do is make everything except for the one that you select disappear. So I want you in your mind to select one of hmm. those. Seeds. I'm gonna do it right okay. now. So just in your mind, and I'm going to try and make all of them disappear. Open your hand, and I'm going to pour out what you're thinking of mm. into your hand. Oh, <gasps> you were thinking of pee. That's gross. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking of the pee. <laughs> Again, why did I have such a bad reaction? Why was I not like reacting like good? Hello, Colleen. Learn to act. Be an actress, honey. Unbalance. These headbands. What am I doing parts. with these headbands? And These shirts too are pretty rough. I'm gonna try and balance this toothpick on the box. Okay, we're balancing a toothpick on two card boxes. Look at my emo hair. Okay, MySpace. <gasps> How do you do that? Okay. What the heck? You try. How do you do that? Squeaker. Um, memorize it. Oh, that hat. The layering. I'm just gonna pause this so we can all take a moment and appreciate way back in the day, I mean, this is probably 14 or 15 years ago, the layering that we would do with our shirts. I would wear like three different tank tops and make sure you could see all the different layers of colors. I'm wearing like a long tank top underneath my shirt. I'm probably wearing another tank top underneath it somewhere. And also that train conductor hat. I know I've been wearing train conductor hats lately and everyone's making fun of me for it, but like it's just because I don't know what to do with my bangs, okay? It helps to hide my face. I'm like insecure, so like that's why I'm wearing it, but like look at this. I feel like I'm going back to my roots, guys. I feel like this is the look I've been doing lately. Anyway, okay, so I picked a card and it's the King of Clubs. I'm gonna take your card, I'm gonna place it in the middle of the pack right there, and uh, if you could push right in the middle there, you gotta push really hard. Okay, push right in the middle. 
charm effort. Squeeze. <laughs> and your card pops to the top. Okay, I'll do it again. I'll take your card put it in the middle just like that. Haunted hand. A little tiny hand. Okay, what is going to happen? Regular <laughs> Zanzibarian hand. I've done so many of these that I don't here's, here's remember all the magic tricks we did together. Hand. I'm just going to put it in my hand just like this. And which have any strings or anything. It starts to shake and look like that. What is that? What? There's nothing around. I don't like this one. Nothing on my arm, what? nothing underneath. It's standing up on its own. Oh. It's gonna slowly. Ew, I don't like that one. That one freaks me out. I don't know what this one is, but we just need to talk about my hair okay, in this one. And show the camera. Whoa. There Look is. at my and hair. I have. <laughs> I'm gonna take your card and place it right in between the two jacks. Okay. You make a nice little spot right here on the table. See it through the jack? Mm -hmm. Watch carefully. Just like that, one card vanishes. What? Completely disappears. That okay? was extremely impressive. Now on either side, completely gone. Okay? Remember before when I said check the box. I'm legit sure shook by that. Okay? <laughs> now inside the box is one card and one card only. Okay? And it is. Get out of here. Okay, right relax. Oh, this is too much. Okay, I'm done. I don't like that. As a kid, I was always trained by my brother. If someone asks how magic trick works, I say, if they say, how does that work? I'm supposed to say, it's magic. And so that's what my answer always is. I will never tell how a magic trick is done, ever. Sometimes I let it go that like, I know how something works. Like sometimes I'm like, I know how that one works, you know? But like, I never will say how it works. But that one, I don't know how that works. And that was very impressive to me. And every once in a while, my brother will do a trick where I'm like, I legit have no idea how that happened. And the only reason I know how some tricks work is not because my brother like tells me, he never gives away his secrets, but because growing up, he would practice, ma like magicians have to practice practice like so much. Like my brother is really good at sleight of hand and that's a lot, a lot of hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of practice. So he has to practice all the time. So he would practice on me growing up a lot. And so I would see if he messed up, I would see it. No, but he doesn't mess up often, but like when you're practicing and learning, like you're not gonna get it perfect. So sometimes I would like see how things worked. And then we did a magic kit together as Miranda. Like I sold a Miranda magic kit. I still have it. I wonder, I'm gonna try to find it. I I don't know. I know I have it somewhere, but I only have a couple left. But like my brother and I made magic kits and I obviously, you know, we talked about which magic tricks were going to go in the kit and I obviously know how all those work because I sold them and I had to teach how to do them as Miranda. This is a very long time ago. So like I am aware of how a lot of magic tricks work, but I have no talent when it comes to magic because it's really freaking hard. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed going down memory lane of my brother. He's a really good magician. He doesn't do magic very often anymore because he's a busy dad and he works 24 seven and that's not his full-time occupation anymore. Uh, but anyway, that was fun for me to go through and laugh at my ugly outfit choices and also be impressed by his incredible magic. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go to bed. I love you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Leave a comment for um, what you want me to chat about for tomorrow because I like reading all the comments and it always gives me ideas on what to chat about with you guys during the vlogs. And um, yeah, so love you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You can relax. Colleen and Derek have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.